Hello viewers. I'm going to be reprogramming the 2015 Nissan Sentra, which has the P17 F3 code on it, and this is a hard code that cannot be deleted. And the possible way is to reprogram the TCM to get rid of it. The programming is also required for P17F0, P17F1, P17F2, and P17F4. There is a service bulletin for these quotes. So these quotes actually causes the CBT to jitter. It may also lack, uh, it may lose some power or hesitate on acceleration. And another problem is also the RPM flaring up on this vehicle. Uh, the RPM beyond 2000 and with a speed of over 75 miles per hour, the, the RPM begins to fluctuate. And to avoid that, the vehicle has to be driven at about 75. 70 miles per hour in order to prevent the flaring of the RPM. So comparing the last five alphanumeric of the TCM part to the bulletin, we see that this vehicle's uh, TCM part number is not on the list, but we'll go ahead and reprogram it anyway. Now let's go to Nissan Tech Info to get the calibration file for the part number of this vehicle. At first, when we go to the console tray for reprogramming, we see that that is grayed out. And this is because we don't have the calibration file in the right folder that is a reprogramming folder and that is what we have to do uh, before we proceed we have to make sure that we hook up the vehicle with the battery maintainer to make sure that we have the appropriate voltage to be able to run this reprogramming on the vehicle so we have our maintainer hooked up make sure this is turned off. Radio is turned off. Okay. If you are not sure on how to go about the reprogramming, you can use the documentation that came with the calibration file, or you can view some of the videos that are on, on YouTube that provide guidance on the step-by-step -step process to go about programming or reprogramming the Nissan vehicle. Follow all the instructions and precautions or messages that comes up on the console tray plus that way you would be able to tell whether you're doing it right or not. Here's one example that requires us to operate the vehicle. The ignition is already ignition is already on. Followed by pressing the brake pedal. Then it Acceleration accelerator, then putting it in reverse position. And hit on start. So, carrying out that instruction, now the status is completed. I have fast forwarded portions of the video in order to cut down the video. 
time. The transfer of the new TCM calibration file is complete using the vehicle interface and now uh, we we'll go ahead and then complete the remaining functions on the vehicle in order to complete the reprogramming. So we have one, I hope that this video has been helpful and if you have a similar problem and you want to reach out for help with the pre-programming I am within the SAFJC site you can reach out and then let me help you reprogram your vehicle if you have a similar issue thank you for watching